For those of you that might have watched my last video, you would have seen that I purchased this Tudor Back Bay 58 recently. I've now owned the watch for over two weeks and it's only left the wrist once. I'm really enjoying this watch so I wanted to talk about it in its own video. Now I'm not going to go through the specs of this watch as there's hundreds of videos about it on YouTube. Really just how I feel about the watch and ultimately why I decided to purchase it. When I was first looking at the Judah Black Bay range, I was a bit apprehensive about the size as this comes in at 39mm, which is the smallest watch which is now in my collection. Before that, my smallest watch was my Rolex Submariner, which measures in at roughly 40mm. I've always enjoyed the size of that watch. Previously, I always leaned to bigger watches, but now as I get older, I'm preferring smaller sizes. And this 39mm is perfect. As most of you would know, the previous Black Bay models were 41mm and a lot of people were asking Tudor, why don't you make it in a smaller size? And so Tudor listened and made the Black Bay 58 Blue in 39mm, which is a great size. I think that will hit the sweet spot for a lot of people as well. And of course it comes in a lot thinner, which is another gripe about the old Tudor Black Bay. They came in quite thick. When I was trying on Black Bays, I was trying on this and the original 41mm size. And when you try them both on, you really appreciate the smaller size of the 39mm in the slimmer case. As mentioned, I was a bit apprehensive about the size, but actually I've grown to love it. And it works great with shirts and jumpers that just slips under the cuff. Now the blue colour is really nice. It's kind of like a, a deep royal blue, but it's not overly saturated. It does go with a lot of colours nicely. I know when this watch was first released, everyone went absolutely mental for this watch and it was quite hard to get, which is why some second-hand online retail stores are still selling them for over retail price. I've heard that in some parts of the world, they're still quite hard to get hold of. But yes, the blue is really nice. It's not electric blue sort of in your face. It works really well with most colors, I would say. It's easy to match with. Like an everyday blue, that's how I, I would describe it. One of the really nice design features of this watch, which I think is quite subtle, is the fact that the text on the dial is silver rather than white. And also the minute track going around the outside of the dial is silver. This really ties in the silver surrounds on the hands and the hour markers and the case itself. One of the things that I am a little bit sad about is the fact that Tudor changed their logo from the rose to the shield. I do like the shield, but I like the old Black Bay versions that had the rose on the dial. I think they look really nice. But you do get the rose on the crown, so it's not all bad. Now, a lot of people have raised issues with the bracelet. I didn't have any problems with the bracelet, but I can see why people might do. The links on the original Tudor bracelet are quite big for the watch, for the size of the watch. And there's only three micro adjustments on the actual Tudor clasp. I managed to get a good fit by taking out two links and putting it on the biggest setting on the clasp. But I've always fancied the Jubilee bracelet. So after owning this watch for a few days, I went onto Uncle Seiko's website and purchased a Jubilee bracelet. And I think it looks really nice. Obviously it comes with an Uncle Seiko uh, clasp, but they do have conversion kits so you can put on the original Tudor clasp. And I will do that at some point, maybe after Christmas. I went for the brushed side links and polished mid links. I think because the, the watch is highly polished on the side, it ties it in nicely. The clasp isn't too bad. It's just a pressed steel clasp. Obviously it would be nicer if it was milled but that would put the price up a bit. But it works well and it's really secure and it's finished nicely. I think the watch looks fantastic on the Jubilee. It really gives it a new lease of life. And on the Uncle Seiko bracelet, you have a lot more levels of micro adjust. And as the links are quite small, it's quite easy to get a nice fit. So let me put it on wrist so you guys can see how it looks on the Jubilee bracelet on wrist. So there's a watch on wrist on the Uncle Seiko Jubilee bracelet. I think it looks fantastic and I really like the polished middle links. It fits really nicely and it's super comfortable. So yeah, this was just a quick video of me just talking through the Black Bay and why I really like it. One of the other things that I'm really impressed with 
is the loom. I think out of all my watches, this one actually has the best loom. Even from walking, just being outside and walking into the house, even during the day, it does shine quite brightly. It's, it's very impressive. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I didn't want to get too technical into the watch because there's so many videos online. I just wanted to kind of give you an overall feeling of, of this watch and why I like it and some, some things that I've really noticed. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think, if you've got one, what you like and don't like. And I will see you in a future video. Thank you.